Hey guys, Thomas the Silver Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review the movie The Angry Birds Movie 2. So, of course, uh, this is another video game movie that is getting a sequel. This would be, I think, the third one that is now getting a sequel. Uh, we've had Resident Evil get, you know, its line. Yeah, had Silent Hill get its sequel. Uh, Mortal Kombat, actually, now that I think about it, is also another one that, uh, so never mind on that. Uh, but, yes, this is a sequel to the Angry Birds movie, obviously. Uh, and in this movie, we see that uh, the main character, Red, followed by his two friends, Chuck and uh, Bomb, uh, are celebrating their heroic deeds from the previous movie. Uh, but the Pig's Island is being attacked by a now third island that is being introduced, which is inhabited by eagles. So, uh, the pig comes over, they, they squander a bit, uh, back and forth, only to, uh, eventually come together to create a team of individuals, including the two I mentioned, plus, uh, the intro. I believe this is the introduction to Chuck's sister, question mark, I don't remember, I don't even remember the first movie at all, but, um, this new character, I'm just going to say it's a new character, Silver. Um, and we see that the pigs also have their uh, two individuals on the left side there as well, joining the big pig. Uh, so, it is up to this little squad to find out what's going on with this third island, uh, stop them from taking out both potential islands, and so on and so forth. And you think that they're going to focus on this little team, build it up, yada yada yada. Uh, but the movie also has a subplot, which is completely unnecessary, where these three little baby chicks you see on the screen are trying to get these eggs that they were playing with. Three eggs that they were playing with go off to the beach in the water, uh, and more hijinks ensues. Uh, it, through different intervals of the movie. So, there is, like, introduction to, like, this is what the character starts as, as in, like, for example, the character Red, uh, he's afraid of, like, being, uh, being forgotten as a sort of hero, and that once that is done, once he is forgotten as that hero, uh, that there will be nothing left for him, there will be no one left. So his friends try to cheer him up by going, having him go on the speed dating, dating uh, little scene where we see the initial introduction of Silver among where he's talking to other, a few other female uh, interactions. And um, Chuck is very... Uh, single-minded throughout the movie is he keeps saying like over and over again that's my sister um and they have like this little tickle thing that they have with each other i was like oh my god Phew. i was about to say whoa i i gone the incest route because oh boy that would have been a uh, very uh very not kid friendly at all uh, but there's still a lot of poop humor, a lot of, uh, there's still a lot of other innuendos, uh, particularly in that scene where the, there's the whole dating thing going on. Um, but nonetheless, they get through that, they form the team, they get ready, they, uh, Red's very confined to being the leader, um, and throughout it, uh, we keep getting back to these other three, uh, in their shenanigans stories of, like, how they're doing with the eggs, and how they call out, like, oh, things usually aren't this easy, and then they get more complicated, and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, there's that, uh, we then go back to the team of Red and his squad, as they're making their way toward the island, uh, and they split up into two teams, Red and Silver, that being Chuck's sister, uh, primarily team up, and then the others uh, form this disguise, which happens to work. Um, it gets its way inside, 
Uh, and this is where a lot of the music comes in. There are a lot of songs in this movie. I want to say there are like, what, 10 to 15 different songs in this one movie. Um, because, you know, uh, having music in movies is fine, but the, the moment you mention music or sing music on YouTube, you get demonetized. So I always find that pretty amusing that movies have this... Uh, whole thing figured out, but YouTube can't figure it out still. Uh, nonetheless, um, we have uh, Red and Silver sinking into the base, and Red's trying to prove that he can do it on his own, and he keeps fumbling about uh, because he's trying to do it on his own. So we get characters who are pretty much stable throughout the entire movie. Um, Maybe like one or two moments that may be like, huh, okay, that was a little bit a ch worth a chuffle, a, a, a turtle, uh, I don't know. Um, again, there's some more bathroom humor as the disguised, uh, this disguised group goes into the bathroom with this other guy trying to get this key card, uh, and they're like trying to get it, and it's on his side, and he's doing the bathroom like the the humans um so yeah there's there's that going on um so yeah um you know just it it doesn't work as well um i mean you you could you could have learned a valuable lesson of the koika cuz that's what birds have they don't have the penis um, so yeah, uh, they go through that whole situation, um, they do in fact get the key card, uh, Red and, uh, Silver keep, like, getting close, and then Red keeps scrambling up, so the two teams are sort of getting gearing towards this weapon, um, and eventually they get caught, at least Red and Silver do. Uh, and this is, like, I want to say near the end of the movie where Red finally has that, like, instant character arc of, like, oh, I should have done, you know, I should have been this part of this team, I should have, you know, I was afraid of being alone, all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. So they keep it relatively simple in terms of, like, okay, they're going through this moment now, uh, the characters are, you know, this is sort of also, like, the lowest moment because all the other guys are, like, getting caught um, but they work their way through it. They, they also get out red and silver do. Um, <clears throat> so they devise this plan, uh, to destroy this, um, bomb thing, this weapon thing. Uh, and all along, by the way, I should have mentioned this earlier, but it completely slips my mind, is that they have this eagle with them, um, the one from the first movie. I do remember this character, uh, at least a little bit. Uh, so they have this character with them, uh, and he keeps on trying to avoid this other eagle, and there is this obvious setup of, like, they were together, and in fact, they even had a daughter, um, but he abandoned them, and this is why, well, at least one of the reasons why the main bad guy is trying to bomb these other tarot areas. So she's trying to get the other areas to uh, flee their island so that she can have it, inhabit one of them. Um, and, you know, in the process of... Um, beforehand of, like, Leslie, uh, sorry, uh, the purple eagle catching, uh, Red, uh, they do the whole, like, oh, it's because you're a guy thing, and they do, they go through that whole bit, um, you know, they, they, they downplay the man in the process of, like, oh, only this can happen to a man, and blah, blah, blah. So it's probably, like, the the low point of the movie, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, but we do, at, at least at the very least, we get, like, this quick, like, oh, okay, he's at least changing or whatever. So, um, the plan f 
fumbles to the point of them failing completely, and it takes uh, the eagle like emitting his like because he he makes his way back eventually. Uh, he admits his feelings, blah blah blah. They go through that whole ordeal, um, and all the meanwhile, um, uh, I believe it was Chuck that used like Silver's um, in one of her earlier inventions in the in the movie to stop the device as. She doesn't really, the Eagle character doesn't really care, so she d fires the thing anyway. Uh, the other characters make their way in, that being the three birds, and they met up with like three pigs along the way. So they like hold on to this device as, as it's breaking apart. Uh, they fire various little lava ball things, and then they come crashing down back on the island that it came from. Everyone fucks off. Um, and, uh, the two birds reunite after the fact of, like, oh, this destruction, and then the eagle, like, saves, uh, the daughter. So we get, like, a little after the fact of, like, oh, they're, these two are gonna get remarried or whatever, they're gonna live, they're gonna live their life now, um, Everyone celebrating all together except Red and Silver who are like going on their date and then they get clock cock blocked by uh, Chuck there at the end uh, because comedy and I, I guess saying the same thing he said at the beginning of the movie that's our sister so you can't date her. Um, that was a little baffled by that. I wasn't sure that that was the direction they were going to go for. I thought they were going to commit to the relationship. So I thought they were going to have Chuck uh, learn a little something. Maybe have Red say a line of like, well I'll be your brother now or something. And then he'd be like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> you know, something like that. But no, uh, they keep that character very much the same throughout the entire movie. Bum. Uh, relatively the same throughout the entire movie. We have Silver, even her herself remains pretty much the same character throughout the entire movie. The only character that really goes through any sort of shift in a quick shift at that is the main character. And for all intents and purposes, it's rushed. There's this whole side plot that is completely irrelevant. There are a few other minor issues that revolve around like animation stuff, but that that's not too important to me, because um, none of it really ruins the the you know the f relatively thin story of my enemy of my enemy is now my friend, blah blah blah. Uh, you know this hero, you know you could have done a whole lot more with that. The hero who wanted to keep his admiration, um, but you know they they simplified it. They kept it to this relatively like small scale. Like he's gonna learn this one thing now at the like the eighty to ninety percent mark of the film. Other everything else is just like meh. You're just gonna go through the motions and tell pretty uh, simple humor and blah blah blah. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this movie a three out of ten. It's not that great. Um, you know, there's like maybe like one joke that may have landed, um, and the whole character development thing was fine if, you know, if you considered whatever. Uh, but that is my review of the Angry Birds movie too. Uh, and if you enjoyed this review, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out those links in the description. One will head you over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are greatly appreciated. And until next time, everyone. Bye bye.